These are the answers and the times you'll find them in the listening. The listening track I've taken the timings from is available in the website link now above my head. The track number for this exercise is also now above my head. To explain why the answers are the answers, I'll tell you the part of the listening which directly relates to the answer. Hopefully, you'll very quickly see how the vocabulary in the question connects to the clips from the listening. So make sure you've got your course book open at the right page now. I'm going to be moving through the questions quickly, so please pause the video and rewind it as many times as you wish to make sure you understand exactly what I'm talking about. If, however, you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to get in touch through the contact form. OK, let's go. For question one, the answer is A. She is a little concerned about some instances of scent marketing because she says, but there are occasions which do make me slightly uncomfortable with the idea. For question two, the answer is C. They find out that the smell has no connection to the products on display because Dr. Patterson says, the approach can backfire if people get wind of the fact that smell is being used to manipulate them. Wind of the fact means to find out about something or become aware of something. For question three, the answer is C. It is not possible to be certain why it was chosen. And that's because Dr. Patterson says, without access to the marketing company's brief, we can't be sure. That is to say, we can't be sure why it was chosen. For question four, the answer is D. She regards the mail board campaign as a skillful use of scent marketing. And that's because she says they opted. In other words, they chose to do very cleverly, in my opinion. And then she goes on to describe the effect they chose to create. For question five, the answer is B. She sympathizes with them on the grounds that scent marketing poses a health risk because she says, if they start having breathing difficulties but can't actually smell whatever it is that's being pumped out, they won't realise they need to move away. For question six, the answer is C. She has great admiration for their knowledge and professionalism because she says, the scent marketing designers are getting lots of commissions to do this kind of work as it's highly skilled and very demanding. I really take my hat off to some of these people. The key expression here is to take your hat off to someone, which means that you admire them for a particular achievement. 